today is the summer solstice and that is the longest day. So lots of people see this as midsummer depending on the calendar that you follow. And I saw these really nice jars from the Joy Journal that are made into flower lanterns. So they gave you a recipe for a glaze or a glue and it's really simple. It's just using some plain flour and some water and you whisk it together, set it aside and whilst you're doing that you can go and collect some flowers to press. So I pressed my flowers for around about two hours in between some books. If I was going to be doing other flower pressing activities I would do it longer but this seemed to work for this activity here. And as usual, I've collected flowers from my garden that I know are plentiful. Some of them were fallen, so I had some fallen from nearby shrubs and I picked them up. So you just need to take your glaze once it's started to thicken and paint it onto your glass jars. I always have lots of glass jars lying around because I seem to collect them. Then you can just put your flowers on in the, or your leaves or your grasses in any way that you like and set it aside once you're finished and let it dry. So once it's dry, and when it starts to get dark, you can just simply pop a tea light inside and you've got a flower lantern. So the idea of fire is associated with Midsummer's Day a lot. It's all about getting rid of the darkness, um, using the light to get rid of the darkness. And so I really like this nature, rooted in nature activity. And here are my finished jars. And you can see that adults would enjoy this just as much as children.